Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D nail polish bottle cake. Now this is a collaboration with Elizabeth from I Have a Cupcake. Over on her channel, which we're going to link in the description box below, is a tutorial on how to make cupcake nails. She has a channel full of beautiful nail art, so make sure you head over there and check it out and subscribe to her channel. Now over here we're going to be making this 3D cake, so let's get started. So to make the nail polish bottle cake, we're going to be using black buttercream. And purple is my favorite color, so I'm using purple buttercream, but you could use any color that you want to for your nail polish bottle. You're going to need three six inch round cakes, black fondant, and we're going to be using um, five cupcakes. So I have my three cakes leveled and they're ready to be stacked. And in between each of them, I'm going to be putting some of the purple buttercream like this. So just a thin layer in between. The buttercream is just going to glue them together essentially. And then I'm gonna put some more buttercream on top of the second one. And then I'm also going to add the third one on top. Once you have all three of them together, what I like to do is freeze the cake at this point because what it does is it just lets carving, um, it helps carving be a little bit easier later on. And so I'm just gonna pop this into the freezer and make sure it's nice and hard. So I've got them all stacked and it's been into the freezer. And like I said before, it just makes the cakes a little bit easier to carve once they're hard. Now, whenever I'm carving something, I want to keep um, the image or the item nearby. So I've just got my, my nail polish bottle here, which I just use as a rough, um, guide for how I'm going to carve. So I'm using my serrated knife and I'm just going to saw off the edges here. And you always want to be air on the side of caution and do a small amount to begin with. And then you can always go back and take off more. So I'm going to go all the way around the top like this to give this the little edge disappearing here just off the side. And then down here, I'm also going to come in because the bottle goes in at the bottom and I'm just going to go around and carve in like that as well. So I'm going to get all this stuff carved and off the cake board, and then I'll be back to show you what to do next. So once we've got it carved, we need to cover it in our buttercream. So I'm just going to go around with my spatula and make sure that all the surfaces are covered in the buttercream. And if you want to provide, or if you want to put on a crumb coat, which is an initial coat, which catches the crumbs, you can put a thin layer on and then pop it into the freezer or the fridge. And that's going to set the crumb coat. And then you can put on a second coat where you'll be pretty much guaranteed not to have any crumbs because the first coat will have caught it. So we're going to work on the handle now. So I have four cupcakes and I've just leveled them off. So I've taken off the tops here and I'm using my black buttercream because the handle is black and I'm just going to put a little bit on top there and then press one on top like that. And then a little bit more buttercream onto there. And I'm just going to stack them like this. Once we have them stacked, we're going to take our serrated knife and I'm just going to gently carve off the little lip that is wider than the rest of the cupcakes from where you stack them, where they're meeting. And I'm just going to go all the way around until it's like a cylinder. Once we've got it round, we're going to take these skewers, they're wooden skewers, and we're going to put them into here. Now, if you're not comfortable putting this sort of a thing in, you could also try a spaghetti strand if you want to. I just find that this makes it hold up much better because it's much stiffer. So once you've got those in, you can start covering the handle all in black buttercream. So I have a black piece of fondant laid or rolled out really thinly here, and I'm just going to be using these uppercase cutters. And this is the one that I found online. And I just chose them because they are closest to the same kind of font that the OPI nail polish bottle uses. And that's the only reason, but you could use any kind of lettering and you could also just pipe it on if you're really good at piping. So to do these ones, you just take this little guideline here and lay that out and then pull the rest of the fondant away from it. And this just helps when you're cutting to not have to waste so much. And I'm just going to choose my letter. So I've got an O here and I'm just going to press that down and then just cut out the rest of what's on the front of the bottle, which is OPI. And then it says nail lacquer. 
So I'm just going to cut these all out and set them aside. So we're back to working with our covered cake and we're going to take our fifth and final cupcake and I'm just going to put it in the center at the top and then on the top I'm going to use a piping bag. You can also just um, brush this on if you want to um, but I just find it's a little bit easier to keep it, keep it cleaner if you just use a piping tip to cover the top and then you can use a spatula to smooth it and then we're going to cover the sides um, in the purple buttercream. So I'm going to be using a small round tip to pipe the thread around the top of the bottle here. So I'm just going to squeeze and use steady pressure and as I go around I'm just going to gradually work my way up and then keep going all the way around like you would find the threads on a bottle. So I'm going to be putting the letters on and the additional thing that we do need is we need the lines that go in bet uh, over top of the nail lecker and underneath it as well. And then we also need these little tiny dots that go in between the O and the I. So I'm going to put the nail and then the other second one underneath there. So we have the front of the bottle finished and I have placed the handle here. We're going to be putting a paintbrush into here in a minute. But first we're going to pipe the spill part of the nail polish. And I'm just going back to the same um, piping tip that I had before. And then you can make it as messy or as neat in whatever pattern that you want to. And you can pipe yourself a little spill bit and different little marks and little extra ones. And then you want to fill it in with your buttercream like this and then like I would keep going but just to show you I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to smooth it out and cover this whole area in. So there you go everybody how to make a 3D nail polish bottle cake. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. To finish off the cake I put a clean paintbrush down the center of that line of cupcakes that we put together for the brush, the handle of the brush. So I've got some other bottles here just so you can see the actual size comparison between a real bottle and this giant one that we did out of cake. Make sure you head over to I Have a Cupcake, say hello to Elizabeth, tell her that I sent you and check out the link in the description box below for the video for her cupcake nails. I can't wait to try those out myself. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all again next time.